Hello, how are you? And um, I hope you're well. Uh, what we are, we're just presenting uh, How to Beat Bullies uh, by recollection number five. I'm just going to rehash briefly on the last one, number four, which was about knowing your escape routes and um, being and also befriending a bigger person, befriending bigger people and um, leading the bully, controlling the ground. Okay, uh, Lao Tzu, Tzu, the great Chinese general who wrote The Art of War, one of the first, first rules for the art of war is to determine the ground where the confrontation takes place. Okay, so that's what you're trying to do. Bob Marley said, he who uh, fights and runs away lives to fight another day. All right? Many, many of the great Scottish chiefs who were brave and strong and fearless men, they, they used the strategy of escape. Okay? Don't think that running away is a cowardly thing to do. It's a smart thing to do. Know your escape routes. Know your neighborhood. Suss out the bully. Suss out their routine. You know where they are. Be one step ahead of them. Okay? Those are the strategies. The next strategy, bluff strategies. Now, I've used this myself several times. Um, Muhammad Ali, one of the great uh, sportsmen, fighters of the world. He, he gained the heavyweight championship for the first time when he beat Sonny Liston. How did he do that? Sonny Liston was convinced that Muhammad Ali was crazy. Sonny, Sonny Liston wasn't afraid of any man in this world in, insofar as punching and fighting and strength and muscles and anger. He wasn't afraid of anyone. But there was one kind of person he was a little bit afraid of, and that's a person who's crazy, who might be crazy. The reason being is that we don't know what they're going to do. All right? People, so what I'm saying is bluff strategies. Try and uh, find ways when uh, bullies are watching you or when you know they're watching you to do something a little bit crazy. Even set it up beforehand so it looks much crazier than it is. Uh, for this, I'd encourage you to read books on magic and uh, how to set things up, how to trick people, uh, those kind of things. Harry Houdini, all these things. You've got you to suss out your neighborhood, suss out your area, know when the bully's watching, do something that they're going to see and go, man, that kid is crazy, right? They're not going to know. Uh, th that might mean that you're capable of anything, okay? And that puts them in fear, okay? Because crazy people are the most feared people, really, in the whole world. All right? Here we are. We're on Butters Peak. We've got people coming up over the hillside. So this is what I'm saying. We're going to end this uh, lesson. We're, Butters Peak is, a, is an attachment of Car Mount Cargill. Uh, what do you know? So we'll probably stop this uh, filming here. You know, who would believe it, eh? people coming up you go out to a private place thousands of miles away and there's people everywhere but um, we'll, we'll speak more about this in another one part two on number five we'll do that in another place where we, we won't be disturbed all right be encouraged take strength take strength God be with you